Hi everyone, Anath Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about artist trading cards. Artist trading cards are pieces of art that are made on two and a half by three and a half size paper, base, cardstock, or even fabric. And these artist trading cards are also called ATCs and they're traded and swaps all over the world. People trade them and swap them uh, on Facebook, Facebook groups, on websites, and other, even in person. And they're really fun to make and you can make them with any type of material, art, technique, um, whatever you like making. So I'm going to teach you how to make six trading cards, a set of cards. And for that, I'm going to pull out some um supplies so i'm going to pull out some letter stickers or sentiments some background papers craft papers some other pieces of cutout shapes some stickers and my focal points which are going to be silhouettes and photographs of people that I have by tim holtz so what I'm going to do is basically use the same materials for all cards, but each of the cards is going to have a different design. And I'm going to do that by using the same supplies, but in different ways. So for example, these are my bases. They're black cardstock. And I'm going to add craft paper shapes or pieces to each one. But you see that the shapes are different, the patterns and markings on the papers are different, the direction that I'm putting the paper is different, some of them are cut, some of them are torn, some of them are complete piece that covers the entire base and some are just pieces. And even though they're all the same, basically the same craft paper, you can see how I can make my first ATC layer different on each of the cards. So I'm just going to apply glue to the pieces and attach them to my cards. And like I said, you can use any material, any technique that you want on your artist trading cards. You can paint, you can doodle, you can spray, you can use paper collages, you can use stickers, you can use crayons, acrylic paints, watercolors, fabric, metal, anything that you want. This is a piece of art that is completely up to you as long as the only restriction is that it's going to be two and a half by three and a half in size. This is the only requirement that an artist trading card must have. So I'm going to finish with all of the first layers of the craft papers. And I like to make them in sets and then it's easier to trade or swap and it's really fun. Some people collect them. Well, all of them basically if you swap and you trade then you also collect the cards that you get from other artists around the world. And it's amazing what you can do on a two and a half by three and a half piece of paper. So I have these cutouts that I'm going to add as well. And again, I'm adding different sizes, different directions on the bases of the cards that I have. These are all from the same collection, the same uh, pack of embellishments, but you can see that they're similar but different. And that is what is going to give me a different design for each of the cards. Okay. So if the piece is too large, we're just going to cut it. And then I'm going to keep on going.
basically my next step is to add some more details to each of the cards so I'm using washi tape two designs of washi tape and some stickers and I'm adding different washi tape pieces in different directions and different stickers to each of the cards for example to one girl I added rings one of them I added vertical washi tape etc finally the last step is to add a sentiment or quote or some kind of text and add the details the small details that I'm adding with the black and white pen and keeping the same materials and tools but in different ways on these cards is what makes this a set because you can see that the design matches with all the cards but each design is different so I'm just going to add some details to each of my cards and some text so on the top where the girl is dancing I've added some stars and dots here I'm going to color the frame white just small details that you add can make the card then if the sticker with the quote is too long I simply cut it in half or in cubes here I'm going to draw some flowers and it really helps if you plan and put all the materials that you want to use on the cards in advance and then just pull from those materials and then you can create your own set just a little bit of white inside the flowers here I'm going to add the text and some dots around the frame of the card around the edges some dotted lines each of these details is what makes the card and then white dots all over the background so I really hope that you start making your own artist trading cards because they're really fun you can just go in Facebook or even here on YouTube or other websites and look for other artists that make artist trading cards and find the style that you like and maybe swap a few of your cards with other cards just try it's really fun gives you a really small surface to create your own art so it's not intimidating it's not like making a really big canvas or something you just make it on a two and a half by three and a half piece of cardstock or chipboard or fabric and then it's much faster and easier this way and it doesn't have to be very elaborate or with a lot of techniques or very you know full of uh, fancy materials you just make your own art so I really hope you like this tutorial and that you'll give it a try please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects thank you very much for joining me Please stay tuned to the end to see how these cards turned out. I really love them. I will see you next time.